what the devil trying to do right. because light is on it. Come Lord, on, God, Pastor. That thing will move. Come on. Ooh, In the name of God. Jesus. You ain't got to prime it. You ain't got to jump it. The only thing, what's needed? Keep it in the lock. Good. Ooh, yes. Somebody better mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. that spirit. Matter of mm -hmm. fact, I'm gonna take that if somebody don't want it. Mm -hmm. The Lord got to say what that new that He's doing for you. He's saying keep it in the light. Hallelujah. Don't put things in the dark. Well, how am I gonna keep this thing mm -hmm. going? Stay in the light. Stay in the light. Yeah. Keep it, position it. All right. All right. Underneath the light. Whenever you feel like it's getting weak, put it really? in the light. Mm -hmm. Don't go put batteries in it because that don't work. You're in something new. God said, I'm doing a new thing. All right. My Lord. Shout yeah. Lord. Understand that this is not like you've had before. You see, I, as I, I'm commanded to, to teach you as you're on the eve of the eve, don't try to operate your new like your old. All right. You've never had it before. Some of you need to get excited that yeah. you're about to have something you never had before. Yes, Jesus. I, I'm giving God yes, glory yes, right yes. now because that's part of my answers right there. I want so I don't want what I have, but no, yes. I don't want. I no, 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 no. I want brand new. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want it not ever been expanded by me before. Yes. Uh -huh. I want it brand new to me. Uh -huh. I don't know about whole number, but I want that. When somebody tell girl I had that, I don't know about you. Mm. I come up for me. I want you for me, me and mine, me and mine. <laughs> I want that new right here. Tell your neighbor, put it on. Put it on. Tell your neighbor, say, put it on. The scripture tells us, and Isaiah said, do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. I love that about God. Behold, the Lord God said, take a hold of it. Start embracing it. Don't push it away. Start receiving it. My Lord, you're like, wait a minute, how, how do I know it's new? You're going to know it's new because it's something you've not ever done before. Right. You haven't walked this way before. If it's looking like something you've done before, it's not new. All right. Ooh, Lord, have mercy. I feel the Holy Spirit All right. in the house. All right. Teaching us today. Because he's letting you know that if it's acting like um, moving around like something you're familiar with, it's not new, babe. It's old and it's just dressed up. Yes, Lord. <laughs> this thing that you're about to get into, completely new. Right. Completely new. You don't, right? You're like, a, you're like, you're like a baby. You're like, well, okay. What do, what do I do first? How do I? And that's exactly. It's called a trust. Take a step. Okay. Take this. Take another step. That means you're going to have to go step by step. You're leading by him. Mm. That means it's so new to you. You don't know any. You're like, somebody asked you, what's going on? You know what? I don't know. I'm operating in this new area that God has me in, and I'm just walking it the way he tells me. What you going to do tomorrow? I have no clue. How you going? I don't know. What you and you're being honest because I'm putting my complete trust in him. Because, and they're just saying, well, why are you excited? I'm excited because it's something new. It's you see, new. I'm tired of doing it's things the way new. I used to do it. It's because the thing I used to do, it, look at the results I've been getting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, if I wouldn't, if it wouldn't be that I wouldn't be celebrating about it, then apparently I would stay with the old. But I don't want it. It's a pipe right here. I, I'm trying to get rid of the old and take on the new. Yes, so the scripture goes on and it tells, "Behold, I do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth." I like that. New now. The Lord God's letting us know when is it taking place. The moment that you can, you see, understand the timing. The moment that you can stop holding on to the old, the new is going to start. All right. Ooh. All right. My Lord. Someone like, well, I thought you said new now. Yeah, it's a new now. It operates differently for everybody. Well, I'm a priest right there. You better be glad I can't sit down right there. New now is different for everyone because if it takes you longer to let go of your old, then your new not going to start. But if you're like, at the moment that you're like, when you try new now, right. bye. <laughs> Your new now starts right then. Yeah. But those are like, oh, you, oh, I don't know. Oh, I, then your new hasn't started. Because if your now, is, it's not at that moment. Because you're still knowing on your, 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 the things that God told you to let go of. Ooh. I want you to know that what's up ahead of you is so much better than what you're leaving. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Like, mm. <laughs> yeah. 
so much better than what you're leaving. So you're trying to debate on, you know what, like, mm, mm. Lord God's saying, so your now is hasn't started. You see, that's why I'm, everybody, when they're like, you know, when it strikes, clock, clock strikes, <laughs> you know, everybody's like, oh, I'm getting excited. But in the natural, there's a physical time that when it hits, everybody understands that there are some people watch the countdown. During the count, when it hit midnight, everybody's shut. But I want you to know spiritually, everybody's clock is operating at different times. Come on. Everybody has not hit midnight. See, when you're hit, some of you are going to hit midnight the moment you leave from here. You're like, yes, indeed, baby. It's your pa. Happy New Year. <laughs> They're like, you're going to fight. You're like, wait a minute, you're celebrating. No, no, I'm not. Woo, woo, bar, blow the horn, everything. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's wrong with you? It's New Year's. Yeah, they're like, wait a minute. It's not, it may not be for you, but spiritually, I, I, I put them things all Happy New Year to me. Happy New Year. You see, that's the difference. And that's why God hey. wants you to understand that your new can start the moment that you get ready and say, you know what? I'm not going to receive the former things. Mm. I'm going to, really, I'm going to put those strongholds off. I'm going to break some soul ties. I'm, all I'm, right. I'm not going to, nope. Putting it off. Not having that. I'm not going there. I'm not going to entertain that. I'm not going to get out of my godly character. I'm not going to go back. The scripture tells us plainly, and in case you don't know, the Bible says that whenever you get out of something, don't return to it like a dog returns to it. Vomit. Mm. Yes, see, Lord. dogs are just yes, yes, Dogs will spit up something, and they'll go right back and eat it like it was nothing. And the Lord God saying, children of God, don't do that. If I got it up yes. out of you and I got, the, got you rid of it, don't return. Lord, have mercy. I, I, I see that. Yes, yeah. Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Woo, that's deep right there. That's deep right there. Yes, Lord. Yeah, that's deep right there. Yes. Because you'll be like a dog returning yes, to its vomit. Yes, that means the thing that I made come up out of you, I made it come up out of you on purpose. I allowed you yes, to put it Lord. off for a reason. I made you to resist it for a reason. Because you're about to get into a new season. Yes. The last yes, thing you Lord. need is to take back in that trash. Yes, yes Lord. Oh, and get that back into mm -hmm. your spirit, man. And call that. And then try to make that work and put it underneath light. And it's acting a fool because it don't know how to function. Yes, Lord. Because it's used to the batteries. <laughs> Yes, my Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. Yes,
You start talking, yeah, let's go. You're like, hey, yeah, thank you, Lord. It's a new addition. Because see, the old didn't operate that way. I'm just trying to encourage you. I'm not trying to discourage you, but encourage you. And those that don't like change, well, I'm here to tell you, you gotta you gotta fight on your hands. Yes. Because if you don't like change, you're gonna have a difficult time even with this message. Because you're like, well, I like the way things are in the old. Well, that's where you're gonna be though. But you're not going to be right here. Amen. You're going to be somewhere else with that. Because I'm, like, wait a minute, I, I don't, don't you, no, I, I, I put that thing off. Mm -hmm. The scripture tells me, I look, I give you a word, put it off. <laughs> I'm putting it off. That means I'm standing at a distance. I'm not going to receive a poverty. I'm not going to receive that. I'm putting that thing off. You're not going to give me the walk in Lola Ball with you. Oh, you heard. <laughs> Way over that. Keep that over there. I'm putting it off. You're like, wait a minute. Are you trying to say you walk? I may walk through it, but I don't need to hear you in my ear about it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to walk through it knowing that I'm going to get out of this. Mm -hmm. Because I know that the Bible said that there are hills and valleys. There are going to be down points and high points. But I don't need somebody constantly in my ear. Oh, I don't think you're going to do it. Oh, I don't. I'm putting that off. And I'm saying that it's not a person, it's a spirit. Yeah. And you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's not even an extra person. Sometimes it's with your own mind. Yeah. Your own mind that keeps telling me, I don't know, why are you trying that? Oh, why are you going over there? Why are you, why are you seeking the Lord like that? Why are you fasting like that? Like it's really going to make a look. Still over there. Still over there with your negative talk. Still over there with trying to fill my mind with things that God has already promised me that he's going to do for me. I'm going to tell you that the Lord God is speaking in this season. I, I'm trying to close, but help me, Holy Ghost. The Lord God wants you to understand that the Lord God is telling that we got to put some things off. God's doing a new thing, and he's doing it now. He posed the question, shall you not know it? you got to recognize when your new starts happening. You gotta recognize and there's a one for one if you're taking any notes, you're indicated. If you're like, Lord, I don't really know how to function in this season. Welcome to the new. Amen. Woo, you're like, wait a minute. You're like, I, I don't I don't really, I mean, I really just feel like I ah, there's something missing. Welcome to the new. I'm exposing that right now because see, some of you would allow the devil to say that that's the enemy. Oh, you don't know. No, babe. Clarity come to the house right about now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're in your new season. You're in your new because you don't really know how to respond to it, but you're just trusting in the Lord God. And you're having to learn. You're having to pay attention to details. Watch your surroundings. Hear more, talk less. That's your new baby. That's something you need to embrace, not push away. Because a lot of times, if you hear all of that, and I'm going to say it again, if it sounds so much like the old and you're like, oh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, yeah, I'm right. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let me work it like I used to. Uh, news flash, that's not new, that's old. In disguise. Mm. When you're gonna be walking in this new season, you're gonna find yourself more at this altar saying, Lord, I don't know what to do. Amen. Lord, help me, God. Please. Father God, I'm seeking your face. Yes. I, I'm desiring you, Lord God, what do I need to yes, do? Lord. How do I do I move? Do I stay? Do I walk, run, fly, jump? What 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 is it? Uh, do I stay in town? Do I go out of town? Or do I invest? Do I not? Do I save the money? Spend the money? You're every, everything that you're doing, you're Lord, 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 Lord. Welcome to your new. Preach. Welcome to your new. Preach. Despite what the enemy may be trying to tell you, that why you left it. No, no, no. You are entering summer place you've never been before. Oh, I'm about to call, but you're entering to a season that you have not ever walked before. Mm. Things that have not operated like this for you before. That whenever you pray, all of a sudden it shows up. You're like, wait. Hey, come on here, come on here. Ooh. Yes, God. The scripture says that when there comes a time whenever you're while you're praying, while you're speaking to him, he's already answering. Daddy. Ooh, you're like, wait hey. a minute. I that you've been looking around, who's talking? You know you didn't tell nobody that. And all of a sudden that thing shows up, you're like, wait a minute up in here. The Lord God is saying, Do you realize that's your new? Daddy. Because you've not ever experienced that before. Because all of a sudden, the Lord God has given you his comfort. He's given you your peace. He's given you your joy. See, some of you, you thought that was something that you couldn't have anymore. But somebody's about to get their joy back. Amen. The joy Amen. of the Lord is your strength. That's, right. That's why you've been weak. Because you ain't had no joy. But the Lord God said, Jesus Amen. over you. J-O-Y, that's what I call joy. Yes. Jesus over you. So yes, whenever God. I start yes, saying that, God. all of a sudden I get to rejoice. Yes. It doesn't matter what I'm going. No matter what's happening, I find myself, thank you, Lord God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Things are going on 
hell breaking loose, Lord. Thank yeah, you. hey, thank you. I get my praise on. Then yeah. I got, no matter of fact, I get my praise on so much. People be wondering what's wrong with her. I'll be like, thank you, Lord God. Don't let me get my walk on because when I get my walk on, it's on for sure. I don't know what's going on. Why? What's wrong? I'm laughing, crying, walking, talking, praying. They're like, what's wrong? I get no joy because see, if I get in that mode, the devil then messed up because that means the choice of the Lord. That be telling that devil, you can't stop me. I don't care what you do. Yes, I'm going to continue to come on. I'm going to continue to preach. I'm going to go to the nation and the nation's going to come to me. I'm going to do what my daddy tell. I'm going to heal the sick. I shall raise the dead. The Lord God will equip me and those that he's called for me to minister to. Yes, God. They're going to do exactly what God has called for them to do. My Lord. You see, that's my job. Like that don't sound like joy. Don't sound like joy. You just joy to me. Joy. Because my spirit man be like, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Seeing people walk in prosperity. Yes, Ooh, Lord. that's my joy. Yeah, to see boy. them be the lender rather than the borrower. Yes, Lord. Ooh, that's some joy right there. Yes. To start seeing them. Let me give you something. And I'm watching them. I was like, yes, Lord. They're acting like the daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord God. Because see, the dad is always here to take that. Yeah. He'll take this. And you're like, well, do I have millions? No, but that's how your daddy does. Because the Lord God said, whenever you become a cheerful giver, your cheerful giver are big receivers. Yeah. Come on, Lord God. Yeah, so whenever you start saying, whenever you start giving like that, here, go ahead and take that. <laughs> you go ahead and have that. You go, how much? Oh, nothing. You just keep that. The Lord God said, oh, you're giving all that much you're ready to receive. Amen. All right. Amen. You see, you got to understand the principle that the Father has. See, people that they get all bent out of shape. That's not in my notes, but you need to understand. That's joy. Because see, when God starts saying in your new, in your new time, you're like, Lord God, I would not ever give that up back in the day. <laughs> he said, that's just not me. I'm not going to be giving myself like that. Lord God saying, but you're not in the old. Right. He said, you're in the new. So it's time to clean house. In the name of you're Jesus. giving things. You're like, I wouldn't normally give it. But at your word, Lord, there it is. The Lord God is saying, the reason why he's having you to start doing that because how can I give you more until you get rid of what you got? Yeah. You see, you're too cluttered right now. Yeah, so you're yeah. like, oh, wait a minute. So if I give up, if I give up that outfit, the Lord God said, I'm going to give you five more. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord God. If I give up them shoes, you tell me them shoes that you love, you give them up. And you, if you give those shoes up, they got five more pairs. What's your name? Amen. You're like, wait a minute. And then they'll pair that you want. Oh, my God. I'm here to tell you that. The giving and receiving. So whenever that's joy right there, people. That's new. That, uh, that was just an example of your new season, where you're going with, with God, because things that you don't normally do, you would not normally act that way. You would not normally give that way. But because God's doing a new thing in you, shall you not know it? God's doing something new in with you that you're like, Lord God, here it is. Yeah. You know what? The Lord God, my God, I keep getting that. You continue to be that giver that God's calling you to be. Yes, continue Lord. to be that giver that God's saying that I'm about to give you more than you won't even have enough room to receive. Yes, so Lord. you keep giving Bring like it. you keep giving. The Lord yes, God said, I'm about to pour out that Malachi 3 blessing on you. You won't have enough room to receive it in the name of God. You'll be, up, you'll be hoarding things on the side of you. You're like, Lord God, where is this? It said, because you've been giving. <laughs> because you said it. You told them they could have that. You can take that. You're like, and you're, and you're not giving junk. You're giving good stuff. Ooh. Yes, Lord. Come on now. You're giving stuff that you're like, Lord, I don't know why you want me to give that. But I'm at your word. I'm here to tell you, I'm about to call, but you need to understand that the Lord God is speaking to us about doing a new thing. And when God starts doing a new thing, you got to put off some old stuff. You can't take it on. In order, I'm closing, but in order for God to do what he needs to do in your life, you're going to have to do something as well. The first thing that you're going to have to do is God said, I'm, I'm doing a new thing. But what you have to do is put off the old. You've got to take it in your mind and say, you know what? I'm not going to do the thing. I'm going to put those things on. Because as I said before, if you refuse to operate in the new that God has you to operate in, you can say your, your, your new thing is not going to start. If you don't say that, this is what I'm going to put. You cannot function with the old you're going to have to put it off. Choose. You cannot function. Amen. Amen. And that is it right there. Amen. My God, I receive that. In the name, you're going to have to choose. Amen. You're going to have to choose. And that's an area that believers don't like to do. It's just the truth. We don't like to make choices. 
Because at times we don't want to make the wrong choice. But the Lord God said, you need to trust me in this year. Oh, you need to trust me in this season. Because the Lord God said, I would never leave you astray. I would not put you in a pathway for failure. You must understand. If I told you to, 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 to leave that old, you must understand. I got something brand new for you. I got something new for you. I got something new for you. So the Lord God is saying that this is it's about faith, people of God. I'm believing that the Lord God is, as he's ministering to us today, that we're putting off the old, that we're no longer going to be held hostage to the past. Yes. I, I want you to know chains are coming off today. Yes. Uh, chains are coming off today. Yes. We're about to open up this altar. I'm going to tell you, we're about yes, to put Lord. off something. Those of you who are held hostage, you're like, I, 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 I'm telling I keep using that word because hostage yeah. is a word we've been that. hearing all on the news you know how serious that is yes. that means to be held against your own will yes. you know and I, I, I feel for those that are held captive in, in other countries against their own will but there are people that are held hostage even in the body of Christ and they're held against their own will they're doing their hell hostage of your past Hell hostage of a bad record. Hell hostage of a mistake. Hell hostage of a problem. Hell hostage of things that you did many years ago. Hey. Good Lord. That is no longer who you are. You're not that woman of God anymore. You're delivered. But still you're held hostage. Every time you move forward. I remember when you used. I wish you'd stop remembering that person. Because she don't exist. Yes. <laughs> Woo Jesus. My Lord she's no longer here. She's in the ashes of my memory. Mm. But as long as you want to stay, you stay with them. Because I ain't going to be with them. I know that's right. I'm going on. Because I'm operating in you. So you're wondering, where is she? Looking through the rubber, I'm not there. Yeah. <laughs> I done moved on. I'm doing yeah. things that God called for me to do. I'm not in the ashes of my past. I'm in the fragrance of my future. Yes. Come on, Pastor. Uh, Lord. Yes, Lord. In my future is where God's calling for me. Mm -hmm. And where God's calling for you. We're about to open up this altar, but you're going to have to make a choice today. As you're going to stand on the eve of the eve, you're going to have to make a choice. If you're going to put this thing off or you're going to take this thing in, which one you're going to do? You're going to get the new or you're going to fight with your own? You're going to have to, I can't do it for you. Nobody in here can make that decision for you. You've got to stand up and say, you know what, I'm not walking with this old anymore. I'm not going to deal with these things anymore. I've got, I'm getting rid of the batteries and I'm going to go solar power. I'm getting rid of that basic situation and I'm going to do it just the way you. We're going higher and deeper. Mm. Yes, Lord. Come on. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Higher and deeper. Now, if you don't want to come, well, eh? it's on you. Because I'm about to get into an area, and you're going to be like, well, what do I need to do? I don't know. I'm trying to learn. Amen. You, you better get ready. I don't know. You're starting a business. I don't know. I'm learning. But it's new. And the only thing you told me was to do it. And that's all I'm going to do is follow him. I'm trying to encourage somebody because the Lord got to say, anything that you're going to do for God, you got to make sure you put him in the equation. Come but on, as man. I stand before you today, yes, as you Lord. put God in the equation, don't go doing this thing on your own. Oh, big eye. I'm yes, going to do Lord. this. I'm going to do that. Big eye is going to get you in big trouble. Yes, Lord. Yes, that's Lord. I, my, me, my, mo. That's that little song that we like to sing. I like to do me, my, yes. no, no, no. What would you have for me to do? Lord God, you, and I always turn it back. Lord God, you said, you know, like if, I don't, if you don't remember anything else about your pastor, remember that. That's how she prays. Lord, you said. You're like, wait, that's the one of it. When I go in prayer, Lord God, I remind, Lord, you said this here. I would not want to do. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't. I, 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 I don't. I don't think I can. But because at your word, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna walk in this new thing. I'm gonna do what you tell me to do. I'm gonna step in these waters I've never walked in before. I'm gonna open this business I've never done before. Yes, Lord. Come on. Yes, yes. Yes, yes Father. Yes, ma'am. It's not ever been done before. Amen. Not ever been done before. Not on the caliber that he's going to do it. Amen. Amen. Come on, so there's a difference. Yes. Amen. It, it, it's a different standard. Yes. It's a different yes. Yes. motivation. Yes. It, it's not just that one thing. There's, there's so much underlining with that. Yes. So much ministry that's involved in that. The Lord God is saying there are going to be meetings there. No mean yes, youth groups yes. getting there. People go come together. The community gonna come together right there. We gonna have let's have a let's have a talk. Let's talk about it. You talk about oh we gonna have a new talk about it. It ain't gonna be like that. It's gonna be let's say what does the Lord have to what the church got to say about that? 
And it shall be all under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. How do we get delivered for real? Come on, hey, hey. Yeah. How do we be set free for real? Not playing church, but a praying church. What the? Amen. We Amen. want that for real. You know, nobody wants to talk about it. You can't get it over the pulpit all the time. But, you know, the pulpit is just wet your appetite. But I need some Q&A. What, 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 what I need to do? Uh, how I need to uh, fast? What? Uh, do what? To, how? And that's the whole point. We got a lot of people that are wanting to follow. They're hungry. But they have no discipleship. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Amen. Nobody want to take time and teach anybody. You're so busy. Just, oh, oh. My Lord, there are individuals that, you know what? I would learn if you teach me, I, 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 I teach me. Do you realize what the disciples were saying? I know that I'm off my notes, but we're going to ride this thing as the Holy Ghost is saying. The Lord God is learning us. So the disciples were individuals that were followers of Christ. They wanted to know. They did not they ask, Lord, teach us how to pray. Did they not ask questions? Teach us how to pray. Not because they didn't think that he was anointed. Not because they got, because they're like, Lord, I want to do what you want me to do. I want to do it the way, the right way. Lord, teach me how to pray. Yeah. Lord, teach me how to fast. Mm. Lord, God, teach me to, to love my neighbor. Lord, God, teach me to be forgiven. Lord, God, teach me to look up, turn the cheek up, turn the, turn the cheek, whatever somebody tried to. Lord, teach me. Mm. Because right about now, I'm faith. Mm. Ooh, mm. my Lord. Come on. I, I, it's too much of that. Mm. It's too much of that in the body of Christ. Everybody's trying to crap and tell me. Get Wait a minute. Where are the teachers at? Mm. Where are the, the, the disciples are there, but where are the teachers? Amen. People are ready to learn, but, and if they learn falsely, they'll do things falsely. Amen. But if you teach them correctly, they'll do it correctly. Yes. And we can correct the errors that have been going. Come on, Pastor. This is number one. Teaching right here. This is number one. I'm saying that because yes. in the last days, Absolutely. he said, I will pour out upon my spirit upon all flesh. Mm -hmm. Teach that. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. yes. Not uh, teach it mm -hmm. so everybody can get understanding. Yes. Yes. So we all can be free. Yay. But rather than know you, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. And so the body of Christ is divided. Mm -hmm. And we're all serving one God. And yet we can't come together. My goodness. Lord, have mercy. Help us. And help us, Lord. You're not realizing if you believe in prophecy. I don't know why this is being yes, said, Lord. but we won't let it roll. Mm. If you believe in prophecy, if you believe in the virgin birth, if you believe that in Isaiah what was said that uh, you shall find a virgin and she shall be the mm. child and mm. you shall know that he's the Messiah. She shall be called Emmanuel. God. That was prophesied many years ago. And then when it came to pass, it was prophecy that was being fulfilled. As so, the Lord God speaks in the last days that I shall pour out upon my spirit, upon all flesh. My sons and my daughters shall prophesy. My old men shall dream dreams. My young men shall see visions. If it's a, is that not prophecy? Yes. Being fulfilled mm. in the last days. It was so much so that the disciples, that the, that Peter in the book of Acts turned around and reached back in the book of Joel and preached the same thing and said the exact same thing. So I'm saying that because that was being preached. Do you realize as you see these things occurring, the Lord got somebody in together. As you see these things occurring, what do you think that you're living in? You are living in the last days. My Lord. So why are you kicking against the road? Mm -hmm. yes. huh? You are in the last days. You are actually beginning to walk through the prophecies that have been prophesied from thousands of thousands of years ago. So if you can receive the bird, virgin birth, yes. Amen. why can you not receive the word Amen. from a vessel? Amen. God have mercy. I guess I have to get that out for my New Year's. In the name of Jesus. Come on, stand to your feet. Thank you, my Lord. I tell you, that fast will do it to you, woman. Yes, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Woo! I was, oh, I can, I can feel it right about now. Mm -hmm. I don't know it's all right. It's all right because I know whom I serve. Yes, Lord. I know what, my, I know what the Lord got to speak in, and I know the season that we are in. We are living in the last days. There are wars and rumors of wars. There are things that are occurring that have not ever occurred before. And you're wondering why is it such a great rise of the preaching? And this because we're living in the last days. 
You better get your house in order. You better oh, choose. Yes. You better start choosing. Stop playing on. You need to choose. And see, the choices for salvation are there. But as well as the choices for those that are saved, are you going to choose the new? Are you going to choose the old? Which one are you going to operate in in 24? Because this prayer... This